Today we will learn how to search for tra transfac sites in FASTA sequences. Here is a FASTA sequence. As an example, we took a FASTA file of a promoter of GAL2 gene. Here we see the accession number of that gene in yeast. And then we go to platform and we go to sequence analysis. Here we go to load DNA sequence in FASTA format. We find our file in our computer. Here it is. We open it. So it's automatically loading into the server. We start the import. Here it is. So we have this um, file in the system. Now we return back to the start page and go to the site analysis. Search for TF binding sites. Here the workflow is ready. We put here the file, the FASTA file, and now we, search, we select the profile, fungi specific profile, and run the workflow. As a result, we see this uh, little table where we have our uh, position weight matrices listed according to the frequency of binding sites found in that promoter. So we can uh, select one matrix and see where the site was found in that promoter. We see the consensus of that site, the core score, the score of the site, and then we can go basically to a uh, list of those found sites, select, <coughs> say, top of them, and visualize all of those sites together. So we see those um, colorful arrows are uh, different sites found in the promoter of that gene, so we can click in each of the site and see the information. Moreover, we can go inside that folder and see those sites in more detail. So in the genome browser, here the green <coughs> uh, peaks uh, demonstrate the frequency of the sites uh, overall found in that sequence in each position. And again, we can go in each of the site, click on them and see the information. We can zoom out and see the whole uh, profile of the found sites in the promoter and we can export it in a classical match format uh, it, which is a flat file we can see it now with uh, uh, those matrices found the, uh, the positions of the sites their scores and uh, the consensus sequence now we search for transfac in site enrichment for that, we need a background a set of sequences. As a, as a background, we choose these random sequences, which can be generated in, the, uh, in our platform. Now we have to load them into the platform. So we select this file with uh, random sequences in FASTA format. We import them into the platform. Now you see all of them here. We have um, basically 100, uh, 200 sites, uh, 200 sequences as a background. Each, each sequence is of the same length as a foreground sequence. And now we start this uh, site uh, enrichment program. And now in the site enrichment program, we have to put uh, the sequence itself and the background set of sequences. We have to select the, the respective species and uh, select the set of matrices, which is fungi-specific matrices. Now we run the enrichment analysis and we get a bit more complicated table where for each matrix we see the enrichment score, uh, the yes to no ratio, which tells you um, how much of this side are enriched. Again, we can select several of the matrices and visualize them on that promoter. And you see here again those sites in the promoter. And we are now sure that those sites are not only just found there, but they actually enriched, their frequency are enriched. And some of them can be compared to the experimentally proven transfac sites. For instance, this, um, uh, this site in, in the GAL2 gene can be searched in uh, the transfac database among the experimentally proven sites. Here, you can go in transfac and search for GAL2 gene. And we see all the experimentally proven site in that gene. And as you can see here, the first site is exactly the site which was found by the MATCH program, the site for the transcription factor GAL4P. Thank you very much.